Members of a Lansing congregation are in shock after an SUV crashed into their church Thursday morning. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Terrence Friday. It happened along Martin Luther King Boulevard around 3.30. Shannon Kantner spoke with members of that church about what happened. It looks horrendous. Pastor Melvin Jones and several church members were on the scene as soon as they heard the news. Brought tears to my eyes when we looked through the door. That's the pew area where we sit on Sunday mornings. Now most of those pews are destroyed. The small chapel is where the church holds early morning and youth services, Bible studies, and even weddings. Um, it was very fortunate that we didn't have anyone in the building at the time. Charles Green got the call from the security company around 3.30 a.m., and he tells me it's not the first time there's been a major crash near the church, but he never expected to see a vehicle actually in the chapel. We are obviously going to consider putting up some barriers around here now. Cars have you know, missed this turn and ran into the tree or the light pole over here. But we've never had anything actually hit the church building before. City engineers say it could have been much worse. After inspecting the damage, it appears the vehicle missed the major steel beams, so the structural concerns are limited to just that wall of the chapel. And law enforcement say it also could have been even worse for the driver. The thing is, he was quickly accessed, quickly removed, and quickly transported to the hospital. And now everyone at the church is more focused on his condition rather than the condition of their chapel. This is really just a building. That can be fixed. I just hope that this young man can be fixed. In Lansing, Shannon Kantner, Fox 47 News. Now, the man driving the truck did suffer life-threatening injuries. Lansing police say it could take a few days until they know exactly what caused this crash. They do, however, say that speed may have been a factor. The church has canceled all of its activities for Thursday, but they hope to reopen again on Friday.